Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Omori. All right, sorry, just getting set back up. My doctor's appointment went well. I, uh... <laughs> you look like you're hurt. Here's a bandage. You can get more at the pharmacy. Oh, thank you. How polite. Um, I feel like I just realized how apt this is to be like, yeah, so I got back from my doctor's appointment. I'm going to keep taking my depression medication and I have anxiety medication now. Which is true. I now, uh, I'm on something called, I've already forgotten the name. It's like Boom Slore or something. Uh, back in Omori Town. Let me turn down my, I turned out to hear my doctor. My doctor was 15 minutes late to uh, my doctor's appointment. No! All right. We good, we good. Invisible wall there. I've forgotten where we're going and there is no Mari to help us. I'm so curious about this game. There's an, uh, there's an interesting effect that I really noticed about it. Um, Uh, last time, or rather a few episodes ago, I noticed that um, there wasn't a, there was such a long space in between seeing Sunny and seeing the main cast that I was like, no thank you. All right. That's all, huh? All right. Um, we went so long without seeing Sonny. It was like episode five or something. I realized that I had like almost forgotten that he was in the game. And it was such a strange feeling. I was like, oh. Uh, I have now unfortunately forgotten where I'm going. Hmm. Empty birdhouse filled with sticks and dust. You got trash. All-American guy. Hey, you fellas. How's it hanging? Gotta say, been like a long week on my favorite couch, my favorite show on TV. Only one thing bothering right now on this perfect day. Can't find my remote and I'm too comfortable to leave the couch. You see, could you give it to me? Thanks, kiddos. I noticed that all-American guy. Out of the way. <laughs> Detroit Become Human has a thing like that. Where you walk in front of the TV. Uh, I notice I have just barged into this man's house. But maybe this is Kel's house. All American Mom. If it isn't Kel and Sonny, it's been a while since I've seen you two. Hope things have been okay. Kel, you've grown so tall. You're basically a head taller than me. Mother told me about your gross burp, but it's another thing seeing in person. Remember when I could still pat you on the head? Oh, ho, 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 ho. You're such a mischievous child. I forgot about my pie. Is it butterscotch? Phew, it's a close call. It's a little burnt. At the fair, I'd probably rate an 8 out of 10, but I promise it's still delicious. Don't just take my word for it. Try it yourself. Pie. To the pie, I'm working on perfecting my recipe for the summer and country fair. Or county fair. I've won every year. I've entered so far and hope this year won't be any different. Oh, ho, 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 ho. She's like an Ojo mom. This house is very similar to Omori's. Toilet. Oh, Kel doesn't come with me. A mirror. <laughs> I wonder whose house this is. Perfect balance of firm and soft, but the sheets are a little lacking in comfort. Sometimes 6 out of 10. Rated 6 out of 10. Oh, hello. Hey, neighbor. How's it going? Hey, Kel. Who else is with you? I recognize you. It's Sunny. Sorry, it's been a while. I think we only met a few times. I think we always lived here, but I was always sent off to boarding school a few years, and I just came back about three years ago. Hey, Sunny. Chris is my next-door neighbor, and she's really cool. Fastest swimmer in school. 
She's in the water. People compare it to a mermaid or a shark or a torpedo. Nice. Oh, Kel, you never short on compliments. Haha. <laughs> Aren't you trying out for the junior varsity basketball team this year? I'm sure you'll be shooing. <laughs> oh, they're cute. Well, I'll try. I've been planning every uh, playing every now and then with strangers at the park. I think I'm getting better, but it's hard to tell. <laughs> practice basketball as much as you practice swimming, I'd have a better chance. I'm not that hardworking. Feels like fun to me, honestly. Besides, even though I love swimming pools, I love the ocean even more. Love everything about the ocean. The beach, the sound of the waves, and the smell of seaweed. Ah, <laughs> Sorry, I must sound a little obsessed. That's totally fine. It's good to be passionate about something, isn't it? Right, Omori, my heartless friend? Or actually, I think Omori would be a nobody, wouldn't he? <laughs> I guess. Actually, I actually think all of this started because I went to boarding school on island and really enjoyed my time there. Ocean reminds me of the friends I made there. I hope maybe I can see them again someday. For the time being, I guess I'll be collecting seashells and stuff. You know, that story reminded me of this, but Sunny's actually moving away pretty soon. Being given tips on how to handle moving away to a new place. Sunny's moving? Hmm. Well, being away from my friends was tough at first, but change is a fact of life. It's the memories you make th with them that we should cherish. You know what? I just decided something. See any seashells, bring them to me. Hard to find around here, but I'll make sure it's worth it. I'll pay you $50 a shell. Let's go into their parents' bed and see what's in that secret drawer mom doesn't let us open. I'm getting a phone call. Hey, sorry about that. That was unexpected. It was unexpected. That is big, but the fat just is uneven lumpy. Six out of ten. Grain juice in a can. Pot of bamboo stalks. At least that's what you think they are. Grandfather clock. Is there a shoe in there? TV remote. Hey, there's my remote. Thanks, kiddos. Take some orange Joe on me. What? Oh, orange flavored coffee. Cool. Crushed with stuffing. Alrighty then. Dog. Hold up, Sonny. I know it's been a while. Right. Oh, they got the shoes. Uh, I'm just going to watch the last episode back and remember what I was supposed to do. One moment. Hey, and we're back. Um, we're looking for someone named Vance. Oh, God. There we go. Uh, and they're sugar heads, so they're at the candy aisle. Oh my god, it's toxic in here. It's just so pink. My eyes. Knowing Kim and Vance, they're probably somewhere around here. So I uh, went totally the wrong way. Hey, there she is. Hurry, Vance. Shove in all our pockets before someone sees us. Hey, Kim, have you seen Aubrey anywhere? Shoot, it's that nerd Kel. We gotta go. Hold on there. I don't think you paid for those. Out of the way, nerd. You don't know me. I'm not here to snitch. <laughs> Just need to find Aubrey. You know where she is? Huh? Aubrey? I don't know anything about that. Even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. <sighs> Had enough of this for today. Okay, let's make a deal. Tear where Aubrey is, and I won't turn you in for stealing all that candy. You said you weren't a snitch. I don't need to be if you just tell me where Aubrey is. You two again? Thought I told you never come back here. Smiley, smiley. Uh-oh. Hand over the stolen candy. Don't make me call the cops on you kids. Smiley, smiley. We've been busted. Fine. Here's your stupid candy. Come on, Vance. Get out of this dump. Serves you right. Wait. How we find out where are we? Oh, look at his face. Come on, Sonny, let's follow him. Oh, one sec. I have an idea. Sorry for the holdup. 
Let's go catch up to Kim and Vance. Did you just buy candy with the no money you have? Grumble, grumble. Sorry, Vance. No candy today. No, oh, not again. I don't know how much longer I can last. We're going to die. I'm diabetic. <laughs> Let's go home. We'll be late for dinner. Candy before dinner? You miscreants. Wait, Kim. I have something for you. You again? The heck do you want, you bully? Tell us where Aubrey is, and I will give you this whole big bag of candy. Really? The whole bag? I mean, wait. You can't buy us off with the candy? Who do you take us for? I don't know, Kim. We haven't had candy for an entire week. There's a whole bag right in front of us. We don't even have to pay for it. Can you ask if he has Taffy in there? Stop it, Vance. We have to stay strong. We'll go to Dad's house. We'll be able to have all the candy we want. Okay, do it for you, sis. Kim? Vance? I'm waiting. Like we'd accept candy from a bunch of nerds. Oh man, really? I'm sure that would work. It's a waste of time. Let's get out of here. Wait, please, Kim, you're the only lead we've got. Please take this big bag of candy. We even have Taffy in here. Did someone say Taffy? I see. That changes everything. Fine. You really want to know that bad, huh? Let's settle this with our fists. If you win, I'll tell you where Aubrey is. But if we win, you give us a bag of taffy and never talk to us again. I just like, there's no need to fight. If you just tell me where she is, I will give you the whole bag. But I want to fight. Put them up, you two. It's time to duke it out. <sighs> what is it with you guys and fighting? Guess we have no choice. Come on, Sonny. You know the drill. Aw, look at them. I'll show you that size isn't everything. Not about to lose to nerds like you. One of the things about battles in this uh, section is that because there's so much less... There's less party members. There's less items. <laughs> uh, and there's less skills, so battles are a lot more simple. And your face annoys me. <laughs> and simple battles can be fine. Like, Pokemon only has two party members in a battle at a time, and they each take one turn at a time. Hmm, it's nice. Pie's buttery crust. Perfectly complement of the fruity filling. Oh god. Kel blacked out. Oh, poor little Sunny. Sunny's damage isn't as good without, um... Oh. You guys never stood a chance. So, uh, can we get that Taffy now? <laughs> Maybe that'll teach you to mind your business. We gotta get home. It's almost time for dinner, and Mom's gonna be mad if we're late. Let's get out of here. Wait, don't go. Please, Kim. I know you know where Aubrey is. She took something really important from Basil. I gotta get that. You, I get that you guys are friends and stuff, but I, even you gotta admit that Aubrey goes too far sometimes. Please. I'm just trying to help a friend. Aubrey's at the church. One near her house. Huh? Aubrey's at church? Don't look at me. You're the one who wanted to know. If she, told, if she asked who told you, it wasn't me. It was Mikhail or something. Got to scoot. You know how mom gets when we're late. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Let's go. Smell you later, nerds. Interesting. Oh, nuts, they took the big bag of candy when I wasn't looking. Those two got some sticky fingers. At least we know where Aubrey is now. Or at least I think we do. I can't really imagine Aubrey at church, but I'll believe when I see it. Well, it's interesting to know what happens when you lose. Let's go buy some stuff. Kids need anything for cuts and scratches? You're goddamned right. Absolutely. How many would you like, son? Five bucks. 
Easy money. So I wonder why it's called Otherworld. That's a bit of a waste. Whatever, it's fine. Like, is this the other world and white space is the real one? Does Omori, like, dream of having a normal life where he's, like, has, like, parents and stuff and he's not just, like, a weird free-range kid who lives in the void of hell? God. This game... Space Bunny. Illusion. Hello. Let me tell you a story. Walked back from Fix It after making a purchase of hard earned money. When I looked down, and lo and behold, my brand new garden shears are missing. Yes, it's true. My garden shears tore a hole in my plastic bag. How silly I felt. I think you can help me find them. They should be somewhere around here. Says lady with red glasses. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry to impose, but you look like trustworthy people. Can you help me? I need to pick up this week's medication, but I'm feeling a bit weak. I usually send my daughter, but she's not here. Charlene, would you be so kind to pick it up for me? Thank you, children. Talk to man at the pharmacy. He'll understand. Sounds like we're doing a side quest. Hello, how can I help you? I hear pick up some medication. I don't know what this is for. I'll bring it right out. Granny's medicine. Picking a medicine in place of her daughter. Not actually supposed to give up medication, but I make an exception since she doesn't have a way to come here herself. Thanks for helping her out. You kids have a nice day. And uh, the usual. All right, cool. Also, I found the garden shears, so we can do those as well. Ah, oh, thank you, boys. I'll be sure to make never make such a silly mistake again. Where to see young boys willing to help a stranger these days? Feel free to come to my house anytime. You'll always be welcome. Is that the little jingle that means side quest complete? All these houses are set up in the same way. But they're painted differently. Unfinished cup of coffee. State-of-the-art slow cooker. Perfect for busy or lazy moms. At least that's what you heard on a commercial once. Toaster. Another unfinished cup of coffee. Is that intentional, do you think? Like, are all the houses built in the exact same way to be like... Ugh. Snip, snip, snip. Hi there, uh, you two. I didn't expect you. Look here. Caring for these bonsais is a hobby. It helps me relieve stress. This, I'm going to start preparing dinner for my children. Kim advance tonight. But not be late again. Or else... Snip, 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 snip! Cut their fingertips off. Aw. Aubrey and Kim. They're cute. <laughs> Little squeak. Time to go look in that drawer the mom doesn't let me look in. Wardrobe. Bed seems decent, but the sheets would gather too much heat at night for your liking. Six out of ten. You've got a open book. Pruning should be done regularly to maintain shape of your bonsai. Bonsai grow at different rates, so it's necessary to evaluate each tree's growth rate and adjust your trimming to accommodate. Bonsai tree, bunch of books and magos, books and magazines, and a yoga mat. Yoga is good for you as it strengthens the connection between your body and spirit. At least what mom told you once. It's true. Secret door to the kitchen. Yoga mat. Bonsai tree. Nice. It's got a yoga room. Look, yoga moms are hot. You know we were all thinking it. You came back. Yellow bun granny. <laughs> Excuse me. Thank you so much. You've been a big help. It's nice to see the youth helping us old folks. Welcome to my home anytime. This is poor granny's house. It's got a wheelchair. You know, his daughter is usually so attentive. I wonder where she is. She's been quiet, but she made a lot of new friends. Hope she doesn't forget about me. I hate to break it to you, Granny, but uh, your daughter is like a punk, like a 
I would go s even so far as to say a thug. Her boss got stabbed, though, so that's cool. <laughs> Stay back, you omnipotent worm. I almost maimed you. My condolences. My time in the arena has left me on the edge. A bit of a gladiator, as it were. I remember my days in the constable. How I perpetuated my powers of impunity on the unsuspecting combatants that decided to traverse their souls into the barest of my... Ah, no hands. I need not the shelter of a mighty utensil. But the beret of the crowd as they erode for more. Just be careful around me. I'm dangerous. Why is that peripheral you ponder over there is my duly betrothed. Appreciate it if you keep your operable appendages in their sheaths. She assimilates my confab better than anyone and anything else. A sweetheart and we love each other. Now leave us alone. It smells like rotten food in here. You are boasting as to why I'm such more pandemic than you are. It's solely due to my philosophy major. My tenure has led me to my most elephantine discovery of all. Everyone is a hundred, and maybe a thousand years too early in time to comprehend my genius. Pithy me no more with your occupancy. You can't perceive anything I interject into your cerebrum anyway. In surprisingly good condition, huh? Katie, does that look familiar? Why, yes, I do use my channel and platform to dunk on my friends. Why wouldn't I? Ooh, let's breed her diary. A love letter. Who could it be for? Tea party for two. Soft side, but overall not too bad. Seven at... Ooh, jumping up. Moving up in the world. This is cute. Granny's room. Another wheelchair. More laundry. Wheelchair for upst- Oh, of course. Two ma. Turn addresses are all over the country. Books and magazines. Book desk. Of course. How could you get the wheelchair up the stairs? I mean, when I think about it now, I'm the silly one. Of course you would have an upstairs and downstairs wheelchair. A lot of people with wheelchairs don't actually need to spend 100% of the time in it. So, like, they'll just have it with them and, like, wheel it alongside them. And then when they start to get tired, they'll just whip it out, throw it down, get some movement done, see some stairs, put it away, you know. Like, the idea of, like, a crippled invalid who's, like, constantly stuck in their wheelchair is not the norm. Some people are, you know, reliant on a wheelchair entirely, but it's not necessarily the only thing. So, overcome that paradigm, maybe. Um, I regret to inform everyone that I am lost, though. One moment. I headed south and found what I think might be a new area. Knock, knock. No response. So a couple of the NPCs have mentioned all the kids are like... Huh. Weird. How a bunch of the kids are um interested in like picking up trash and stuff like that. And now they're like, ooh, it's cool to see young people taking an interest in taking care of the world. And uh, recycling in the, the... The whole trash zone is like the second area. Arguably third, but you know. Um, the Trutch. Here we are. Last place I would expect her. Which means that she is exactly in here. Kind of skeptical, actually. Might be a trap. I'll open the door a little and take a peek. Hmm. Looks normal to me. I think they're in the middle of a sermon. Oh, there she is on the right. She's just sitting there. All normal. So weird. I feel pretty bad about interrupting this. We should wait until the sermon's over or something. <laughs> so, yeah. Watch any movies recently? Far away cemetery. Far away in other world. Okay. These are probably terms that we should start to remember and use more commonly. Hey, and we're back. Do you want to go in the church? Sure. Is this a moral choice that'll affect the ending? Pretty sparsely populated, huh? Oh, good 
kills with me. I didn't expect you to just walk in like that, Sonny. I'm not turning back now. I have to be really quiet. Can we just sit down? I've always wanted to have a cool, sick fight in the church. There she is on the right. Let's walk to the pew behind her. There are those kids we saw earlier as well. Aubrey. Psst, Aubrey. What the, what the heck are you guys doing here? I want you to get back Basil's photo album. You're still on about that. That's none of your business. Really, none of my business. We all used to be best friends, but now this is none of my business. Yeah, Cal, exactly. We used to be friends. This sucks, man. You know, Mari would... Mari does exist, or did exist. Mari would be really sad to hear that. <laughs> really? You want to bring Mari into this? Who cares about what Mari thinks? Mari's dead. Thought so. Okay. <sighs> Fuck. So, is Mari in the other world the villain of the other world? Because... Sunny as Omori is trying to demonize her. Also, is Mari actually Omori's, well, I guess Sunny's sister, and she died three years ago, and that's why Omori won't leave his house? Aubrey, seriously? What's wrong with you? I get that you have new friends now, but you can't just forget your old friends like that. My old friends? My old friends weren't there for me when I needed them. So that's what this is all about? When Mari passed on, we were all dealing with our own stuff. We were kids. It was hard. You think it's all so simple. You've always been simple, Kel. So what if I am? <laughs> this, is, this is a different thing, but I was talking... Um, I recently played uh, Metal Gear Solid V with the waifu. Um, and I really appreciate how the villain Skullface, while talking to the... Not a villain, but kind of a dick... Uh, Huey Emmerich is like, don't compare me to yourself, traitor. And like, I love villains who admit they're evil and villains. People who admit that they are antagonists are infinitely better than people who are like, what? No, no, I'm just doing a good thing, you know? I love people who admit to themselves and others who they are. Sorry, I'm adjusting my shirt. Um, I love villains who are like, yes, I'm a villain. Okay, they are always infinitely better than people who are like, no, like Dr. Doom's great because he's like, yeah, I'm a villain to you Americans. I'm good to my people, but I get shit done. And he does. That's why he's cooler than the Fantastic Four. How could you do that to Basil? You know how important his photo album is to him? It's important to all of us. Doesn't mean you can just steal it. Is that what Basil told you? I'm the one keeping it safe. What are you talking about? That photo album belongs to him and I'm not leaving until you agree to give it back. Was he going to destroy it? Ugh, you're so persistent. When Mari died, you moved on so fast. You know why I come here every week? After all this time, I'm trying to find some peace. Doesn't look like that's happening today. We haven't talked in four years, Cal. A lot changes in four years. You and Sunny think you just barge back into my life and tell me what to do? Don't be so naive. You might look and act different, Aubrey, but you're still the same person. <laughs> the Aubrey you knew is long gone. The Aubrey that was your friend, she's long gone too. Okay, fine. It, you're angry. If it's an apology you want here, I'm sorry, okay? I should have been there for you when we lost Mari. No. I won't accept this. Wait! Where are you going? I can't let you go until you promise you give Basil's photo album back, you thief. What's happening? Basil? Isn't that the boy who I've seen Aubrey and her friends bully? Now she's stealing as well? Oops. <laughs> you think that you're the good guy, don't you, Cal? And I'm the big bad bully, here to terrorize poor defenseless Basil. You're the one hanging out with a psychopath who carries around a knife. Now's not the time to do this. You don't get to say that. You're the one who barged in here. I already said I was sorry for everything. You want me to be a bully? Then I'll be a bully. You two better come at me quick, or I'll come at you first. Kel's angry. 
God, we just have this punk ass beat down in this church. <laughs> Aubrey spits on your shoe. Sunny just decks Aubrey right in the chest. Look at her clothing. It's completely inappropriate for church. Oh man, this is sad now. The music still rocks. Why are you here? I can't believe she'd bring a weapon in here. How uncivilized. You know what? I think churches are for fighting. I know that there's like an old Highlander rule that you can't fight on holy ground. But man, churches are a cool place to have a boss fight. Look at Devil May Cry. Half of that is inside a church. What do these delinquents think they're doing? This is a place of worship. Yeah. What, you think God believes in non-violence? Look at the Crusades, assholes. Dunk it on Catholic. Why, why now? Oh my god. <laughs> Someone needs to stop them. Where are their parents? Um, let's have Kel patch himself. Heal healings appear to move first, which is good. Or maybe Kel just has really good speed. And maybe there's like a modifier. Oh, she's getting sad. That girl's a threat to this neighborhood. There's no hope for sinners like her. Thanks, churchgoers. Actually, let's just... Let's just punch. Ugh. Forget it. You two aren't worth my time. I don't exactly feel good about this victory, to be perfectly honest ever since her father left. She's so uncontrollable. Disrespectful. I feel bad for her mother. Yeah, blow at them. Blow up at them. Shoot. I know she's been kind of messed up lately, but I still feel sorry for her. Maybe this is a bad idea. Hmm. I usually wouldn't condone fighting in the middle of a sermon, but that seemed really important. She's come here every week for the past few years, but she never talks to anyone. I tried to approach her a few times, but she keeps calling me uh, bad things. She seems very troubled. What? Why wouldn't a young child trust a Catholic priest? I can't imagine what Catholic priests could have possibly done to ruin their image. Especially in and around children. <laughs> Suplexing a priest in Resident Evil 4 is basically the American dream. Ever since I saw Resident Evil 4, my dream has been to German suplex a priest. Knock, knock. No response. Well, what a fun day we had, Kel. So I imagine that Basil probably wanted to destroy his own photo album because he just felt too bad about having pictures of Mari in it. Um, oh, geez, that's her house. I mean, I should have figured. Dude, that car driving by just had no idea about the drama. It just drove by. I would just jump something in a trash can. Let's check it out. Stealing people's mail. I don't believe it. It's Basil's photo album. Can't believe she'd throw it out like that. Good thing we looked in the trash can. On the bright side, we had the photo album and it only took us half a day. Talk about teamwork. How about a high five, Sonny? You're goddamned right, motherfucker. Yeah. He'll be so happy when he sees it. So yeah, my theory is that he wants to destroy it. To make sure that he can't be hurt by the memories in it anymore. Alright, which house is Basil's again? Is it the one inured with knock knock? Basil! Your friends, Kel and Sonny. Hello there, who are you? Hi, Basil. Oh, wait, you're not him. My name is Polly. I'm his care t hmm. Interesting. Hey, Kel. What is it? 
Hey, Basil. Got your photo album back. You did? Wow, thank you. We only had to stab one person. And punch, like, nine other people. Would you like to join us for dinner? I always seem to cook a little too much. Dinner? Sure, sounds delicious. Come on, Sonny, free dinner. Yeah. Aw. Please make yourself at home. I'll go ahead and finish up the food. It's been a while since I've been in here. You have a lot more plants than you used to. Uh, yeah, I like them a lot. Actually, there's some that are still alive from when you guys came more often. Wow, sure are dedicated. That's basil for you. Flowers and photos. That reminds me. We got your photo on back. We can go through the photos together. Uh, that's, uh, I don't know. Well, while since you looked through them, hasn't it? Come on, it'll be fun. Uh, sure. Okay. Here it is. Or has he already destroyed it? Okay. Um, Sonny on the violin. Kel with enough party hats to pierce the heavens. Oh wait, these are my first photo. Aw. It's my best friend Sonny trying out his new violin. Trying to take lessons so he can play at recitals with his sister. Mm. So exciting. My birthday, Cal B and Cal. So many party hats. He's an Aquarius. Makes sense. Sonny playing a video game on the couch. Look at that Game Boy. He's a little shy, but he's a very good listener. I always end up venting to him whenever I get upset or stressed. I feel like I'm bothering him, but he never seems to mind. Uh -huh. Is Sonny a good friend or is he a bad friend? We're back from the park, but Kel's full of That's my birthday! 3 9. Yeah. Kel's still full of energy. Challenge here to an arm wrestling match, but we all know who's going to win. Please go easy on him, hero. Sorry, Kel. Better luck next time. Kel was still feeling sorry about losing the hero, so Hero decided to lean in for his smooch. Ooh. Kel looks so annoyed. Brotherly love. So are they brothers? Interesting. Aw, I love these two cute little boys. They're such good friends. Me showing Sunny a book I've been reading. It's Mario Day. Where I stole my camera and took this when I wasn't paying attention. I should keep better track of my things. Aw, the cuddle puddle. All of us cuddling with Sunny stuffed animal. Aw. He has so many and they're all so soft. Wish I could lay here forever. Mario's teaching everyone how to make flower crowns. Sonny and Kel holding Mario's example. Looks perfect. If only Mario thought so too. These are photos that we've seen. These are these are photos we saw in, in the other world. Admire his persistence. Raining super hard today. Rain always seems to come out of nowhere during springtime. A April showers, though. Uh, Aubrey asked me to take a picture with a new raincoat. It's her favorite color, pink. Aubrey won't let Kel into the umbrella, but Kel is taking it just fine. He says he likes how the rain tastes. Dude, sometimes rain tastes good, man. Also, sometimes it's poison. Just Kel being Kel. He went to hobbies, but, uh... Shop owner told Kel to leave the jacket outside since he was getting the comics all wet. Sorry, shopkeep. Kel being a fun boy. Pretty busy with school, but we finally made time to get together and go to the park today. Kel hang his legs off a tree. Such a good climber. I wish I was as fearless as him. So these are all probably like five years ago then. First day of summer vacation. We wanted to celebrate by going to the beach. Watermelon is Aubrey's favorite. It's when her hair is black as well. Not pink. Kel coon off with some fresh orange joe. Shouldn't get too close or might get my camera wet. Kel is known to spill his drinks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's so wonderful. We buried Sonny in the sand. It took forever, but he looks like he's enjoying himself. I wonder if he'll need help getting out. I guess I'll keep him company until then. He's the sand guardian. Guardian of the sand. Sonny's birthday. Sonny's turning 12 today. Even though me, Sonny, Aubrey, and Kel are in the same school year, Sonny is younger than all of us. He's the baby of the group, so we have to take care of him. Sonny holding a super huge present from Mario and Hero. I wonder what it is. Can't really tell from the photo, but Sonny, uh, Mario and Hero got Sonny a giant building block set. Sonny seems more interested in the box, though. He acts like Mario's new kitten, Miwo. Aww. Miwo is the cat in white space. It's... Not 
Omori or Sunny's cat. It's Mari's. Sunny won't leave the box, so Kel put a food bowl inside. Guess this box will be Sunny and Miwa's new home. Is 12 a little old for building block sets? Maybe. I would play with some blocks right now, to be honest. Beetle catching today. Here's Kel ready to pounce his next victim. Sunny is there too. He's kind of sleepy. Went to the bathroom and came back to this photo. Kel says he took a picture of himself by accident, but I don't believe him. Uh, that's one we've already seen as well. First day of school day. Me, Sunny, Kel, and Aubrey are all up bright and early. Sunny is so photo. Aubrey is so photogenic. All friends. Goodbye, summer. Till next year. We've seen very few of these. You done looking at the photo of them? Yes. Ooh, my wife's home. Oh man, looks like a lot of the photos are still missing. Maybe Arby kept them for herself. I'll have to get those back later. On the bright side, look at how short I was. Grown at least a foot since Harry left for college. Can't wait till he comes back. This year I'll finally be the taller brother. <laughs> so they're brothers, that changes things. Also, Mari is actually uh, Omori and or Sonny's older sister. Anyway, don't sweat about the missing photos. Me and Sonny will take care of things for you. Focus on getting back to your happy, carefree self. Okay. Thank you. I'll try. Sorry about the wait. Dinner's taking longer than I thought. Would any of you boys like to help? Yeah, sure. I'll help. I got some experience helping my brother cook and stuff. That'd be lovely. Follow me. The kitchen's this way. Aw. Time for the itty bitty boys to have a little talk together. Oh, hi, Sonny. Nice to finally see you again. <laughs> Why are you staring at me like that? All the same. Um, Sunny, is everything okay? I'm sure you won't mind if I look at your computer. Oh, hey. Book on plants. Break into Sunny's room. I mean, Basil's room. Comfortable looking bed. Camera looks very dusty. Oh, he stopped taking pictures. Potted plant. Flowers. Bunch of books. Gardening and indoor plant care. The light bulb. I can't get to it. But that's it. Bessel's grandma is breathing steadily. A white egret orchid. In language of flowers, it symbolizes the phrase, my thoughts will follow you into your dreams. That's probably very important. It got its own art and everything. Oh, Sonny, I didn't expect to see you in here. <laughs> I'll hug the small boy. Both of you should hug. How are you doing, Sonny? Is everything okay with you? Okay, never mind then. Grandma can't hear us, you know. She hasn't been feeling well lately. <sighs> Man. Already been four years, huh? Nice to see you're still around, even if it's only a little while. Here, take my photo album. I want you to have it. I'm trusting you with it, okay? I just think you can probably use it more than me. A lot has happened since these pictures were taken. Sometimes it all feels like it was a bad dream. It's hard to remember now, but I think at the time, I took photos of what I was most afraid to lose. Flipping through the album, you can still see the good times. Maybe one day things will go back to the way they were before. Sunny! Sunny! Basil, dinner's ready. Okay, coming. Wheelchair. Pot plant. Cactus sturdy and resilient. Like Cal. Also prickly. Paul and Cal's home at dinner. Damn right. 
Everything you think tastes so good. You're the best, Polly. Oh, it's nothing. Just following Grandma's recipes. Thank you for your help, Cal. Nom, 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 nom. So I was saying before, tomorrow, my older brother Hero is finally coming back from college. Mom's all crazy right now preparing the house and everything. Don't want to be anywhere near that mess. Oh, that's why we can't go back. Although, I'm pretty excited to see him. Every time he comes back, first we do is compare heights. This year's the year that I'm finally going to be taller than him. I can feel it in my bones. <laughs> you and your brother seem close. That's good. Family's important. Arguable. Oh, hey. Did you Val's photo up there, Sonny? Oh, I gave it to him. I just thought he should have it. Whoa, really? That's so cool of you. Makes sense. Especially since he's moving. What? Sonny's moving? Oh, yeah. I thought I already mentioned it. I must have forgot. He's moving in three days, I think. Sorry. I thought you already knew. <laughs> Can you present this with a little more gravitas, perhaps? Oh, no, I must have missed it. Sorry, um, maybe excused? I have to go to the bathroom to have a panic attack. What's up with him? <laughs> well, that's just how it is. Gotta go, you gotta go. Ah, oh, boy. This is a familiar sight. He's doing it. Because he was drawn different. Because Omori's in black and white, but Basil was drawn differently in, in the other world. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. This is a familiar sight. In college, I would often go to the bathroom, lock myself in, and turn the lights out. Oh, it's you, Sonny. You're here. I'm so glad. You can see it too. Something behind you. Is it Mari's ghost? I know that she's the villain of the other world. Sonny. Why do you look so scared? Check the mirror. <gasps> what the fuck, bro? Sonny, everything's okay now, isn't it? Sonny, why do you look so scared? Where's the light switch? Please help me find the light switch, boy. Why do you look so scared? Oh my god, what the fuck is happening, dude? Wait. Please, Sonny. Don't leave me. I don't want to. Not again. I don't want to leave you, but there was no thing else to click on. <gasps> no, go back. He just shakes his head no. Hey, Sonny. I think it's about time we went home. Way past my curfew. So yeah, anyway, Polly, if you ever need me, here's my address. I live just on the block. Thanks, Kel. You're sweet. <laughs> it's nothing. Say goodbye to Basil for me. Taking a Mondo dump, I bet. Says Kel. Can I, can I leave like a hug in his room or something for him? Basil. Oh, Basil. Poor guy. He's always had a weak stomach. Hope he feels better soon. Maybe I shouldn't have put all that poison in the food. Oh, fuck, man. So Basil has something related to anxiety, like Omori does. Like Sonny does. Which is what kind of what I suspected. Uh, he lives in the house with the dog house. Well, with a dog, but the dog has its own now. Hey, hold up, Sonny. Oh, he's going to walk me home. I see. I thought I was walking him home. See, and now, just like we've had um, such a long stint in the real world, I've almost forgotten the other world. Just like how you forget the other world when you're in the real world. Hey, Sonny, thanks for hanging out with me today. Sorry for all the trouble. That was a pretty crazy adventure, huh? Tell you I haven't talked to anyone in a while. But that's okay. Just takes practice. Here's coming back from college, so I'll certainly want to see you before you leave. 
So you don't mind? I'll be coming back for you in the morning. Good night, Sonny. Sweet dreams. Aww. They're such good friends. But just so we're clear, if any of these kids are in love, like if any of these 17-year-olds have like a big dying high school love confession they have to make, I'm super down with it. Oh, sweet Jesus. Whispers emanate from inside the box. A giant spider web blocks the doorway. I get the sense that a spider boss might be coming up. That was cheap, by the way. The knife is back. Can't take all my knives, Kel. That's the door to white space. Dude, this is what happens when the class clown goes home. I I felt something. I was going to I was getting ready to turn around. Nope, power through it, Omori. I mean, Sunny. Honestly, the nature of yourself is a little confusing. Is it like the dream selves from Homestuck? Come on, power through it, man. Think of your friends. Spiders aren't scary. They're your friends. Not like, you know, Bezel and Kel are, but, you know, they're, they're, they're allies. They eat mosquitoes. And other... You motherfucker. You're probably the final boss, aren't you? Or maybe you're, like, thematically a big important enemy. No way. She's colorless. She's, she's colorless, like Omori is. Because Sunny is drawn in color, but Omori is colorless. I, I talked about that a couple episodes ago, but like, he's not black and white, he's colorless. It's very different. Back in white space? Afraid. It's the smile man again. And the weird eyeshadow, and it's a spider now. Something. Something entangles Sunny in sticky webs. Sunny speed fell. And Mori, she was drawn colorless. So is Omori like the dead Sunny? Something is trying to talk to you. Sunny's attack did nothing. Let's calm down. I'm cool. I think you're friends. Deep breath, kid. Okay, cool. Ready. Something bites Sunny. He takes some damage. It's getting nowhere fast, huh, Sunny? Is that Mori? Get him! Damn. You motherfucker. Okay. The this is this is like Mari's hair. Like her hair dangling. Seems like there's a lot going on. You need to block out the little things and figure out what's important. You clear your mind and remember how to focus. Yeah. Charge up, Sunny boy. Sunny focuses. Oh, and also, Sunny's name can be anything. And the stairs are back to normal. Was that little thing on the floor there? I tried to interact with it. Bookcase has been cleared out. Picnic basket. Family photos. Mom's bed. Match is too hard for you to sleep comfortably. Gotta go to my room. Let's uh let's check the bathroom. 
Note from mommy, brush your teeth every day. Love you, XOXO. You motherfucker. Get off my back, dude. Oh, man. We've got all this, like, shit to keep straight in our heads. A very comfortable bed. Would you like to go to sleep? Yes. Oh, boy. Oh, yes, Sumi. Basil and Omori in white space. Basil fades away. <sighs> As we passed upon the stair, I met a man who wasn't there. He wasn't there again today. I always wish he'd go away. <sighs> we're Omori again, we're back in white space. The shadow is very long, and that's not how light works. Anti-spirals. This is white space. Welcome to white space. You've lived here for as long as you can remember. Is it the coffee I drank, my doctor's appointment, or is it just my anxiety? Or is it the game? Because I am anxious. Was that blood stain there before? This this thing? And then you. What is what is this? What are you? It's something or nothing. E E B E Waiting for something to happen. Light bulb hangs from the ceiling. Looking at the light bulb. Pitch black inside. Can't see a thing. And now we go back to the other world. And we'll be Omori, and we'll be with Kel, and all of our friends. Three days left. Three days left. So on day two, or two days left, we're probably going to be back with Hiro. On day one, we'll be back with Aubrey. And then on the last day, we'll figure it out. And then in between here, there will be all of these. Omori, welcome back. See, Hiro, I told you not to worry. Omori always shows up when we need him. Everything okay, Omori? We were worried about you. Ah, Jira, let's go out and look for Basil. He's counting on us. Be patient, Kel. We have to make sure Omori's okay first. Or maybe you and Hiro can go yourselves. Aw. Come on, Omori. Let's go exploring together. Just the two of us. Aw. Can't leave us out of this. He's right, Aubrey. We have to do this together as a team. You never know when you need someone's help. Stronger when we work together. <laughs> we'll be fine on our own. You protect me, won't you, Omori? Ew, gross. Get a room. Aubrey, time to get serious. Let's tell Omori that Omori is okay. You know, she's always worrying about him. Okay, fine. Trying to have a little fun. Um. Does she, like, like him? <laughs> oh, perfect. Like, like, like him, I guess? Baseball and bat. Yes, I do. Wonderful. Marvelous, even. Waiting for something to happen? Here's your allowance. Is this all Omor Omori's imagination? And in this, like, fake thing that he's made up, he's the one who solves all the problems and saves the day. Mari's still alive. Aubrey's in love with him. Kel and Mari are, like, affectionate, but they get along okay, they just fight sometimes instead of hating each other. Omori! Aww. Stop disappearing like that. You know my heart can't take it. <sighs> so, no sign of Hazel. Where could he be? We're not sure. Looking for him everywhere and still nothing. 
hope Basil's okay. I miss him so much. I miss hearing about all the stuff he's into. Like the flower stuff, and the photo stuff, and the art stuff, reading stuff. My hair's so tangly. I miss when you used to brush my hair. Aw. Boy, will you brush it for me? I miss when Mezzo used to remind me to wash my hands. Look, they're so dirty. You should wash your hands anyway. <laughs> Everyone, I know it's tough, but we have to stay positive. I'll try to be like Basil. Even when he's upset, he manages to smile. Anywhere you haven't checked yet? Oh, well, there's a forest west of the stump, but it's gross and full of spite. Mmm. Like the last chapter. Ugh, spiders. So Hiro, so Omori himself is not afraid of spiders, but Sunny is. And in this dream world that Sunny has created, is my theory, Hiro has adopted the fear of spiders, even if he doesn't necessarily have it in the real world. Once again, time to face your fears, little brother. That means you too, Hiro. Or like, I guess they share the fear, since Omori has had all of Sunny's fears before. Just like how it is with Omori, we're here to support you all the way. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'm just being silly. Don't worry, guys. If anyone or anything tries to hurt you, I'll smash it out of the way. You can count on it. Don't forget about me. I'll always be there to help, too. Yeah. We can do this together. Let's go to the forest west of the stump. Lead the way, Omori. It's still three days left. Okay, we're full up, so we don't need a picnic. What is happening, man? Oh boy, oh boy. I've been waiting so long for this event. It's a delightful day indeed. Oh yes, oh yes. At last, our glorious princess sweetheart will make her appearance. Oh my, oh my. I can hardly contain my excitement. Show to be the most electrifying of them all. Oh dear, oh dear. We must hurry. Our four front row show tickets are right here. We are in sin for the time of our lives and we must not be late. Now which way do we go again? Oh, they got lost. Um... Kel, here we go. Rebound. This is this is what rebound is for. That term for that type of thing used in a song. I think it's an amen break. Get him, Kel. Oh, wait, he'll be like, you can do better than that. I'll show you. Ah, oh, man. They feel angry. <laughs> mm. Been bombed. Oh, that was dumb. I shouldn't have done that. It's fine. Right in the heart. Hey, you know what? Fine. Eight clams. And we killed them and stole their show tickets. Sprabbles dropped some tickets. Let me see. Front row tickets to some kind of show. Featuring Sweetheart. Wasn't that Captain Space Boy's ex-girlfriend? Looks like a contest or something. If we happen to pass by, we should stop and watch. We do have front row show tickets, after all. Well, all right. Maybe we can drop by if we come across it. So it looks like Sweetheart is going to be, like, the main focus of this chapter as well. Just like how um, Captain Space Boy was. Oh, man. I hope that this isn't all, like, Sunny's, like, weird, sad, distorted desire thing. Ready to do this, Omori? Be here if you need us. Right, Hero? Huh? Yeah, of course. Come on, power through it. Thank you, your friends. They're all here with you in the shape of a Tetris block. Or a Tetromino, if you prefer. You are no longer afraid of spiders. Omori, thanks for taking one for the team. So in the first visit to Sunny, it was going down the stairs, Pyrefly Forest. And it was the fear of heights because we had to climb the ladder. And then it was spiders 
the second tile. Let's look for basil somewhere else. This place could be the heebie-jeebies. Be such a baby, Kel. There's just some spider webs here and there. Ah, there's a spider in your hair. What? Where? Get it off. I'm ah, just kidding. Look, he's scared now. <laughs> Not funny. Funny, Kel. So, the fact that Mari is dead in the real world significantly changes what I thought about the ending. Because I assumed that she was going to be the villain. But maybe the warped memory of her is going to be the villain. Empty joke book. Pick it up. We can write down jokes now. Tentacle poking out of the ground. Oh, man. Could you imagine if the cast of Persona teamed up with the cast of Omori? They'd be unstoppable. Chicken wing. Yeah, we can all fit in one minecart. Yeah. I love a good minecart ride. It's probably one of the greatest things Minecraft, like, innovated on. Oh, God. No, stop it. Get out. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is so dumb. We have to go all the way back. It's a fucking... It's a rock in the road. <laughs> no comment from my Greek choir? Wow, that was dumb, Omori. Why'd you put us in there? need a matchbox to light the candle. Spiders around the web. Maybe part of the idea is... An interesting book. Another one. Hmm, what to read, what to read. Read every book on the shelf 20 times. Had something interesting. Interesting. Alright, so we'll get there whenever we have the ability to cut through that web of spiders. Maybe the matchbox will help. Oh, the matchbox probably lights the candle, which means that we can um, scare the spiders off with a light. Let's see what the deal is, bunnies. Here's afraid of spiders. But there are none. Oh, bug bunny. Like bugs bunny. Take it, hero. And he's sad as well. So now we're starting to see the afraid status effect come up. Tries to balance on its head. Earlier, all we had was just um, the, the the trio of scared, uh, scared, happy, sad, and neutral. But now we've got afraid. And he's neutral because the spider went away. Is Bugs a weird name for Bugs Bunny? Maybe it was like a normal name at the time. Let's go. We have a new name, is a new theme as well. This also sounds kind of Toby Fox. Oh, the bug bunny bit him. You son of a bitch. Ooh. Nice. Alright. I'm gonna I'm gonna kinda burn through my um what is it, juice here? Yeah, I'm gonna burn through my juice. Granola bar. Daily reminded to go watch Sailor Moon says. Yep, and here's another one. So we probably light this candle. Candly. Can't find my teddy bear. Last time I had him, I was wandering through a big pink castle. If you find him, could you return him? I bet he's lonely. Oh, I bet he's not the only one who's lonely. You know, I own a few stuffed animals, and I will fight anyone who says that it's not cool. I have a... I've already shown this on, on camera, but I have a plush of Kirby right here on my desk. It's good. He encourages me. I also have a um, small-ish collection of alpacas. Oh my god, I've been recording for an hour and ten minutes. Yeah, there we go. Just as I suspected. What the fuck? Okay. 
So go this way. Huh. All right. I don't understand what I'm doing. I will try once more. Hmm. Okay. One moment, everyone. All right. I sprinted back to here. So now maybe we can hit him up with one of these. No. Okay. Maybe we'll figure out how to do that later then. Not this way, but this way. Avoid the bug bunnies. Yeah, wasn't Bugs just like a regular nickname at the time of like Bugs Bunny's creation? Sprout moles. Hey, he's not afraid. Good. All right. I like that Mari is not the healer. And also that Hero is. Because normally someone named Hero or Yusha or Ayu or whatever would be a protagonist heroman. Get him, Omori. Oh, it healed him this time. Is it because Sunny's getting over things in the real world? Because before, Omori didn't, you know, absorb things like other characters did. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Fuck. All right. Um. So yeah, I have been recording for seventy odd minutes. Uh, but I have yet to find a picnic basket. Oh, hold on. Hero. Cook. Use. Boom, boom. Thank you. Hero is afraid of spiders. Potted plant. Uh, headbutt. Hero, do your best. Oh my god. The damage, though. Hit right in the heart. All right. Dull attack. Shoot. He can't do his follow-ups. Does big damage. I guess just do a normal attack. Um, hmm. A healthy stick of grain. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> just double tap it, man. Keep it going. You love a good protagonist with a knife, you know? Because either they're very clever and they have to outthink their opponents. Oh my god! Toast, toast. Yeah, that's two toasts right there. But this is just a bug bunny, so we can probably handle it. Did I speak too soon? You're goddamn right. <laughs> Lucky slice. All right. Um, hey, hero, you got any more cookies in you? Um, 
50% of juice. Let's pop that on you. Kel, you need it, man. And then let's see this. Bread slice is cool, but attack X first, stronger when Omori's happy. Interesting. So this is one that works when the foe's angry. This is one when Omori is sad, and this was one when he's happy. Interesting. And he has no ability to make himself happy or sad. He has to rely on his friends. Well, no, he can make himself uh, sad, rather, but he can't make himself happy. Fries. Excuse me. Hey, it's Mari. The place is really overgrown, isn't it? You're so brave going through the forest. Old minecart running through here. Wonder what it was used for. No. Picnic time. How are you handling your fear spiders, hero? <sighs> Breathe in. <sighs> Breathe out. You and great hero, keep at it. More used to be scared of spiders too, but look at him now. Not even a flinch. Look at how brave he's being. Wow, so brave. Yeah, so brave. All right, now we can save and we can end this dang episode. And I can say hi to my wife. Ugh, that's been Omori, everyone. Oh my god, this game is getting harder and harder to get through. Um, not for the difficulty, but for the emotional trauma. Um, but hey, I bet it'll all work out. And if nothing else, uh, my anxiety medication is in the mail. Uh, so I've been Alfred. This has been Omori. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for coming by. Uh, see ya. Bye-bye.